Welcome back to Tony's Board Life. I, of course, am Tony, and we are continuing our playthrough. I know it's been a while, uh, but we are continuing our playthrough. I made sure I remembered where I was at because I remembered to put the card to the side. So the tribal of elders here, this is our next card, the card that we were playing. And then light item is going to be our next card. So we'll see how things go on this. Um, it's interesting because uh, we will have the... Um, the Taliban is available as well as the Warlords, which is at the last card. So here we go. Tribal Elders. Now let's take a look here. So we'll slide this back over here. You guys can take a look at the map as I get my uh, playbook out here to make sure. There it is. We've got it. So that is card number 45. Tribal Elders. Card number 45. And the history is a voice in local shuras until the next propaganda oh that's that um so the traditional power and decision making structure of tribal and village elders had largely been dismantled in areas of afghanistan by the previous 30 years of violence and social upheaval re-establishing this way of doing things would have greatly assisted whichever faction might harness its power Okay, so that's what we got going on. Okay, so now we're going to take a look here. So the first one available uh, on the card right here is the Taliban. And let's see, the Taliban cards. Okay. All right, uh, non-player Taliban. Okay, so we are looking at tribal elders. Um, there is nothing to this one. So, are there um, event? Choose event unless uh, ineffective or otherwise instructed below. Um, there is no. Um, yep, there is no tribal utter. So, what does this say? So, until the end of the next propaganda, the faction uh, executing this event may follow any shift causes any any shift that causes support neutral or opposition by um, setting the space to any level. Oh, by setting the space to any level. So, if they shift something, they get that. So. Um, yeah, so it's not a capability, it's momentum. Uh, show oh, momentum, job order, shift to opposition. Okay, so this tells me that definitely want to do this one. Um, so we're gonna put he's gonna do the event, and we're gonna leave it down here. To remind me that that's where that is. Okay. So then that leaves the non player, the warlord will do uh, a second option, sec second faction option, and may add a special activity. So that's great. Are there six plus warlord pieces available? There are six warlord pieces. So, yes. So we're going to rally and up three provinces. Go to underground uh, in non posturing places with a cube and all active warlord ba uh, guerrillas bases. Okay, so we're going to rally. So looking at this, so we're going to rally. So basically, one resource poor space elected. Um, there's plenty of res They've got plenty of resources up here. Matter of fact, they are above the win record there. Um, which is not, 
which um, which is an un uh, although uncontrolled population is fifteen. I think I don't think they're that way. Um, so yeah, so really place one warlord gorilla or replace two with a warlord base. If base and not Pashtun, um, yeah, if base and not Pashtun instead may place gorillas up to population plus bases or flip all warlords on the ground there. So we're going to do three. So the Pashtun is the green green, but not here. It's going to be um, these areas in here. So basically not northern Afghanistan, but southern Afghanistan. Okay. So go underground and so I can choose to go underground um, in a max of three spots. Uh, nobody is not underground, so we don't really care there. So then place bases where able. Uh, can't place base there, not here. Oh, that's, yeah, that stays on there. Um, can't, so we can't really place a base anywhere, so that's not a waste. Then um, place gorillas first where warlord bases, but no gorillas. Nope, we don't have that. Then we're Warlord Gorillas, but no bases. Okay, well, there's one right there. Uh, Warlord Gorillas and no bases. Although, can there? Oh, there can be a base here, but man, this is this is getting tight in here. So technically, we can go here because it's Pashtun. And then one more. Well, let's see if there's any more. Okay. Um, then in one province, um, then in one province, if needed, to allow cultivating a base, then randomly. Um, so right here is one place where we could cultivate a base, because there's there's a spot here, and we can get there. So we can go here. So this is so we that's those are the three three spots, and that's going to cost us three. So we're good to go there, no problem. Uh, place one Warlord Gorilla, or so it's one. If base and not Pashtun, instead place and not Pashtun. Uh, okay, because those are maybe zero. Okay, we'll see. So if base and not Pashtun, instead place Gorillas up to population plus bases or so. Okay, so we're going to basically take, so I believe one's going to go here. Because that's this is Pashtun. Um, one's gonna go here, which we can actually get to base here as well, and then uh, one's gonna go here. Okay, so they're all done. Now they can do a special activity, and since they did, oh, you know what? Let's let me leave these up here, 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 and here. By the way, this would leave it. There's no control for coin because it's either coin or um, Taliban control and so that doesn't that would have taken away any control if that would have been an issue okay so we can do any special activity so now we got to figure so then it's going to say cultivate in a province select for selected for rally or march with population of greater than zero and where a warlord gorilla outnumber police Okay. Here. <laughs> yep. That one. Okay. Place a base first where the warlords, where there's already warlord bases. Um, so, yeah, let's, let's see what cultivate is. Add a rural base. A province selected for rally or march. Destination must have a population greater than zero and more or the place one base there. Okay. Yep. So, so we're going to place a base here because this is, I can't cultivate here because there's nothing there. So we're going to place a base here. Okay. Yep. So we placed a base there. Awesome. Okay. So they're done. So we are now done with this one. And 
Uh, line item is the new card. Let's just put that right there. And then we'll flip over. And that's the next card. Okay. So now we're looking at... So government's going to go first. And it's called line item. Uh, use the unshaded. So Congress appropriates. Add the lesser of 8 or 15 resources to the government. And for the government to win... They need coin control population plus patronage greater than 35. Uh, patronage is at 24. And so this is add the lesser of aid. Aid is... Uh, that's... Oh. Oh, okay. Okay, so uh, aid is at seven so it's what is it add the lesser of aid or plus 15 so it would have been the aid that would be added to the resources okay let's just see if uh, line item is in here at all anywhere yep no line item um yeah so Unless ineffective or otherwise instructed. It is effective. It can be done. So they would get they would get seven more resources, which could be very vital. So I think according to this, they will take the event. Because it's not ineffective, they can get so they will get seven more resources. We're at 23, so they're at 30 resources. Okay. If I'm wrong, let me know, but I, I think I was right on that one. If I'm off, I'm only off by one or two. Okay. So that's government. So now it is my turn. And I am going to get to do a lot of different things. Okay. So what am I going to do? So I need, for me to win, I need uh, support... Total support plus available coalition pieces to exceed 30. Um, support plus available is at 21. So I need to increase support. All right, looking at this, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to train and then I'm going to surge because I can either surge or airlift. That doesn't help me with the surge. Does. So the train, I can actually uh, do a civic action with government resources. Um, so yeah, so we're, that'll be pretty cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to train. We're going to train in um, Gaz, Gazani. Gazani. Yep, we're going to train in Gazani here. So we're only going to move one. We're going to only bring one in here. It, we're still in corn. So that does drop my available because I only have 10 available now. But I can buy civic actions... Um, with, so then buy civic actions. Yep. So then I can buy civic actions to kind of help maneuver that. Um, in space with coin control, police and any troops, every three government resources removes one terror or no more, or once no more terror shifts one towards support. The owner of the troops in the space decides. Coalition. Okay. So I am in, I it's my turn, so I'm going to do that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna spend three resources. So one, two, three. <coughs> to take this and make it neutral. Which will drop. Um, I'm assuming opposition here. So that's one. So opposition will drop one. And then we will spend another three, one, two, three, which is on coin and patronage, to actually increase it to support. And that will bring me up back up one. So that works. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to surge. So I may add or withdraw coalitions or add aid or give resource stores. So location, three spaces, Kabul or coin control province, move any coalition pieces desired among 
the three spaces available. If desire, add a die roll. So I can move any coalition pieces desired among the three spaces and available. Okay. Oh, by the way, let's let's get rid of these because I trained in only one. Oh, by the way, that's three resources too. So by training, yeah, that would cost me three more resources. So that brings me back there. And then, so, so I trained here. So we'll just go with that. I'll just go with the fact that I trained right there. So I trained in here. Okay. Three spaces are available. Now, what I think I'm going to do is I've got Kendahar down here. He's got plenty. So that's one. So that's going to move this back to available. So that's going to move this up one. We're going to move this guy back to available. Which is also going to move it up to one as well. I think that's that's it. Those are the only two spaces. I'm going to do that because there's enough um, units here. I just trained here to get them in there, which is great. And here. So I... I'm, I'm good. So that makes me happy. Okay. So then we are done. So we're going to go here. And oh, line item. I forgot to read the history on the line item, which is card number 40. Uh, line item. Uh, to quote Ronald E. Newman, then United States ambassador to Afghanistan in 2005. Iraq and Hurricane Relief won and we lost. So, okay. So, next one uh, is Find, Fix, Finish. Okay, and then the next card after that is Night Raids. So, that's this one. Okay, so Coalition, Government, and then War. Uh, the Taliban. So, the Taliban goes first. So, we will take a look and see if if this card gets used. Okay, so this looks like it's gonna be underneath, under deciding if it's effective or ineffective. So, um, and they use this, uh, let's see here. Use shaded text, okay. Assault to remove any bases must include a government cube. Well, that doesn't make any sense at all. Uh, one piece removed each coalition assault space may be underground. Okay, so I don't think this one can actually be used. It is not, it is ineffective. Yep. So what they're going to end up doing is they are going to do special event and activity. So here we go. Are there 15 plus pieces available? Or gorillas active? No, and there's not. So no. Um, underground Taliban four plus Taliban and gorillas at support or line of credit line of line of communication. Um, no. So we we're going to march. So from without losing control. So he'll be in control. Uh, as long as he keeps five in here, so he can actually move. Uh, he can move four and keep five. Okay, so these four can actually get moved. So let's see here. So that's a spot. We can march there because that is a Taliban control to unsabotage line of communication. Then Kabul. So they can get into Kabul, then Kabul until one more Taliban than the others and max two Taliban guerrillas at each. Okay, so that's not going to help. Then into two adjacent provinces with no opposition nor Taliban control. Well, that'll work out. So that's going to be here. We have three and or and or here. So yeah, let me see. Um, see if the uh, let's 
Ooh, there's a non-player arch example 25. Let me take a look at this. Okay, so definitely here and here they'll move from as well as here. Okay. Um, grab another um, pawn here. Okay, so no more than two spaces. So two, because it can go into Kabul. Kabul. And then two can go into here. And then, so there's one, two, three, four, five. Then two can go into here. And then it can actually take these two and bring it into here, which would actually put that under Taliban control. Which is actually three. Oh, but that's opposed bases. Okay. Opposed plus bases. But that will actually lead to eventually getting a base in there. Because we do have... Okay. We are good to go there. Okay. So then that will cost, I'm assuming, one, two, three initial spaces, or is it destinations? So the cost on that. Ah, March. One resource per destination. Okay. So we had one, two, three, four. So that'll cost four resources. One, two, three, four. Okay. And then they marched extort in spaces with underground Taliban and more Taliban than enemy. So here, okay, get rid of these here now. Okay, so then we need to extort. So this is to gain resources. Each space, activate a gorilla, take two reload re warlord resources per warlord base, if any, if done. So any spaces with underground Taliban, gorillas, and more Taliban than enemy. And each space, activate that gorilla. Okay, so that be so we could do it here. So this would be one. And then we are going to take two warlord resources. So there. And and then um, this one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. So this coin control is not here anymore. So coin that goes down one. Okay. Okay, so that one doesn't count. This one doesn't count. This one does. So that'd be, oh, two and two more. And then not this one, this one for sure. That drops this two and it's up to, and that's it. Okay. Yep, it's not a max, you can just do that. Okay. So now the warlords will have a limited option. And so let's take a look at this one. See if it's in here at all. Doesn't look like it. Okay, so I don't see it. So yeah, so we're okay on that one. Uh, so he does get a limited op. Now, what are we looking at? Um, six warlord available pieces. Nope. Um, I got to uh, let me see something. Okay, so I was looking through this and I 
thinking that when it says pieces, it should include the bases as well. And so I kind of mixed up on this last one with the march. I probably should more bases out because that's actually one of their things and it's the way to get them out. Um, so going forward, when it means pieces, that to me, that means bases as well. So six plus warlord pieces available. Yes. Place a base where available then. Okay. So the only place that I might be able to fit available it would be this one. So let's take a look here. Uh, rally. Replace two with a warlord base instead. So yes. So we can do this in up to three spots. So let's grab our little markers here. And we'll do up to three spots. So we can put a base here first. Um, go underground in non pastry spaces with you. Okay, we're done with that. Place bases we're able, so we've done that. That's the first one. So this will, we'll get two of these back here, and we'll place a base. Okay, and then, um, let's see here. Place where warlord bases, but no gorillas. We don't have any of those. Then we're Warlord Gorillas, but no bases. Um, again, that's going to be in here. Then in one province, if need, needed to allow cultivating a base. Well, we can cultivate a base right there. Um... But I'm thinking we'll put one there. Okay, so that's going to be three. So one, two, three, because the max of three. So we'll be able to put one that are actually. We can actually no, because that'll yeah, that won't matter. So we take these two, and we can put a base here. So that will oh no, that's right. I wasn't doing one there. Doing one right here. And then right here as well. Okay. So then we're going to convultivate. Um, okay. Well, we couldn't cultivate here. Okay. So place where warlord bases, but no gorillas to fix that. Um, then where warlord gorillas with no bases, then in one province, if needed, to allow cultivating a base. One if needed. So really, it's just two spots. Oh, yeah, well, we'll have to go here because you have to cultivate in place. Okay. And then we, okay, there, that makes sense. Okay, so yeah, that's fine. So we got another base out, but bases don't help their winning condition. Okay. Other than it may uncontrol populations. Which we have, what do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, five, six, seven. Okay, yeah, so we're way over there. Okay, good to go. Okay, so that was, oh, it was a limited, ah, ooh. So a limited op would only be in one place. So what it would, this would, this would stay here. This one would come back. Since limited op, it only goes in one spot. So this has got to go back up two. This was okay. So that way we can cultivate cultivate in that one. So that's okay. Okay, we're good. Right, so now we switch, go, and we are doing night raids, which are which is a government and a coalition card, and then we have reapers coming in. I may, I may, what I may do is I may pass 
just airstrikes may remove up to two active gorillas or one bay one base last per space coalition capabilities controversy airstrikes affect only okay I may, I may keep that. I'll have to take a look at that one and see what happens. Okay, so night raids. Effective tactics remove all insurgent bases from any two spaces with coalition troops. Oh, wow. Interesting. Um, government frees, go, free governs in Afghan support space, ignoring control and coalition. Ooh, so they can govern, which is first war support. Uh, so if we govern, what are they? Uh, so night raids, let's see here. Night raids, use the shaded text. Okay, so he is definitely going to use this one here. And then, so he is, so we're going to govern, free, uh, government free governs in an Afghan support space. We got plenty of those. Ignoring, okay, so what does, so government adds control, population, or patronage. Max two spaces. If no returnees there, which I have one, place returnees plus one population, or if no correlation, co coalition base there, trans population value from aid to patronage and is set to neutral. Oh, okay. So that's interesting. There's a base there. Okay. So this one, so the returnees. So coin control spaces with support or zero population. With support or zero population. Coin control. Coin control, support, or zero population. Okay. That's two. I think we'll add it here. So that will add plus one to the control, as well as the support. So that will help with the coalition. And then this one gets to ignore, what was it? Where's the, oh. And then control and coalition. Ignoring control or coalition. So we don't need to worry about control spaces. Okay, so let's take, hold on, let's hold on to this right here. I don't know why you would want to ignore control, but if you're going to ignore the coalition or if no coalition base there, no returnees there. Place one returnees. Okay, yeah, so he can do this right here. Plus plus one population. Okay. Yeah, so that would, but unfortunately, well, fortunately for them, it moved both up. Okay, yeah. And so now, let's see here. I'm just curious, what would the coalition do? Okay, so now it's coalition turn. And Okay, so I'm just trying to see here if I want to airstrikes may remove up to two active gorillas. Her space mm. or airstrikes only or if I let them have it see this is the big deal if I let them have it here they're gonna get this 
uh, capabilities, and if I do any airstrikes, it only allows me um, now. And so I'd want to do an airstrike, um, which I could do a sweep then to activate some units and then remove two. Oh, that sounds like a good idea. Uh, for oh no. Oh, uh, okay. Let me pause this. Hold on. All right, that wasn't too bad. I only lost a couple pieces there. <laughs> okay. What I'm going to do is I am definitely going to pass here because I get to be first on this one. And because I pass, Sergeant Coin. Yep. So I get three government resources that way. We're going to go one, two, three. And then that card goes away. And so then we have the Reaper's card. And then the next card. Oh, Special Forces. Boy, we're going a long stint without any, without a propaganda card, which is a good sign, which is a good thing. Honestly, when it comes down to it, it's a good thing. Okay. So I get to go first and I'm definitely taking... I'm definitely taking this one. So let me just double check on the rules on that one. So it's the Reaper's card. I want to see which is card number three. Wow, card number three. Airstrikes remove up to two active gorillas or per or. So after the Predator became a, the Reaper UAV first field in Afghanistan started in 2009. It was bigger, faster, and more heavily armed than the Predator. Still faster, stealthier, and heavily armed models were being developed. The Singer. Okay. So, I'm believing that if I do it with this card right here, if I do an airstrike, I can remove two, because airstrikes remove one active gorilla. So this one will remove two. But what we're going to do is we're going to sweep and then airstrike. I believe that's how that's going to work. Because it says airstrikes may remove. It's not a momentum card and... Oh, it's a coalition capabilities. Oh, that's what it is. So, yes, I definitely want that. Whew. Let me get... Um... Let me get that one for sure. It's not Predator, it's Reaper. Where's the Reaper? Yeah, uh, here we go. Airstrikes remove two. So that becomes a coalition capability. I'm definitely taking that one. I'm doing the event. And then it is the um, Taliban that's next. Definitely taking that one for sure. Okay. Um, let's see here. So. This one, let's, let's check this out. So 15 plus pieces. And again, I believe that includes bases. So we have six, we have 10 and we have, um, you know what? Let's, I think we should probably do it this way. This will tell me. And we have seven bases. So we have 17. So yes, because I can place some bases in places, I believe. Yes, I actually can place a base in Kabul there's enough there okay so yes uh grill is underground in three spaces where active taliban a taliban base and a cube no then place bases where there are at least three taliban gorillas and room yes which there is so what we have to do is replace two taliban with base so first one we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to we have a Taliban base in, which is not good, in Kabul. And is there a max rally where Pashtun, which that's Pashtun or no support. Whew. Okay. I'm not, you know what? Let's see here. So what I'm going to do is this going to be overflow B. So that way I can see what's all in it. Other than the bases, the bases will stay up here. Um, so we're going to move this just so we can see everything. There we go. But now 
This is overflow B. So now we can see everything here. Okay. Did not like the fact that a freaking base got there. Okay. If no underground Taliban, uh, Taliban, we already did. So that's one. So that's one spot right there. Base gorillas is uh, to add control in one space. Actually, that can happen. So if we are here, so place Taliban and replace two. If base instead. Oh, by the way, this goes up because we got another base in there. There's no there. Okay. So if base instead may place gorillas up to population plus base. So that's one plus base. So that's two. So we can go two here. And then this actually becomes Taliban controlled. Which is interesting as all get out. So that's Taliban controlled. So that, oh, that was already taken care of. Okay. So that's another space. They actually don't have, okay. Then place gorillas to add control, which that one's there. I think that's it. But everywhere else has control. Okay, yep. Okay. Um, then buy Sharia for maximum shift. Okay, so where can we, we can do that here. Oh, oh, I got to do, let's see those. So that's, it's one per space select. So I've got two. So one, two. Okay. And then, so this is, so there, so Sharia is actually first for the greatest shift. So, um, okay, so. I believe that's oh yeah let's look over here that's over here just so in space with Taliban control one resource spent by Taliban removes one terror one smart shift shifts one level towards operation okay okay so this one's definitely going to be one so that's going to be or this one's going to go here so that's going to be opposed so this is going to go up one right there that's a two that's an imposed. That's an imposed. This has zero on it. Okay, so that's it. So it's just this one right here. Okay. Um, oh, by the way, yep. Yeah. And he may do a special activity. So then they can extort. So this is going to be taking more. So we definitely can put one here. Two. Um, so extort any space with an underground Taliban gorilla and more. And yep. Although, yep, this one for sure. And I'm surprised this doesn't tick off the warlords. And I think that one's it right now. Okay, that one's it. Okay, that's done. So reset. And we are on to special forces. And so aerostat. So this one has another capability for the coalition. So we'll have to see. Um, oh, that'll actually work out pretty well. So special forces and the first player is going to be the government. So let's take a look at the government non-player to find out what special forces says. If it's one at all. Colors from two insurgent pieces um, from within one space of troops. Okay, so that'd be the... Okay. So, special forces. If coalition player, which it is, choose ops and special activity instead. So, ops and special activity. Are there 15 government pieces? Yes, there are. Oh, by the way, so special forces, this one probably is pretty easy to 
go through. So special forces, that is card number nine. Uh, special forces. The Durdand line, which forms between from the border between Afghanistan and Pakistan, is indistinct in many places and happens and it happens that the coalition special operation force troops accidentally on purpose wandered across to observe insurgent camps and hit them with a UAV or other airstrikes. The Pakistani government was understandably sensitive about these events. <laughs> okay. So we're talking, that's this line right in here. <laughs> oh yeah. I can see why they would be upset. Okay. Um, we'll see. Cause they, that one, I'll have to see if the, um, uh, let's see. I don't see. So we'll have to take a look at this one, by the way, just to see. So I need to keep that out for right now. Okay. So 15 plus government pieces. Yes. A train in a province with three plus government cubes and no coin base. It's right here. Place a base. Okay. So we do have a base. So three plus government cubes. So if we place a base... So this would be train. Okay, at Kabul, and each coin base. Then, if desired, in one train, replace three government cubes with one government base. Okay, so we'll take three government cubes, and we will add a government base. And that is going to be three resources. One, two, three. Okay. Then see the government wants population plus patronage. Okay. So does it say? Okay. Then place cubes at Kabul and one to three coin bases first. If no base placed. Okay, so two bit the other two bases as needed for civic action or no coalition where there is no coalition base. Okay. So let's see here. So I can place cubes and it's, let's see, how many cubes? I think it's like six government cubes. Okay. So what we're going to do is so we can place up to six here. So we're going to definitely do that. So six is going into here. And that is going to um, actually put that under coin control. This is just making sense, um, which will actually make the coin control one, two, three, up to 27. And then where's the other? So that's where, so I've done these. Oh, there should be, oh, there's the other base. Okay. So right here, I did this base right here, and then I can do that one over there. So we'll get, we'll get Herat taken care of. So six more pieces. So let's, we'll do police and troops because I have a base there. Okay, perfect. Okay. So then I can buy civic actions, which I will. I think I will. Then govern. So first we're support and no coalition base. Transfer to patronage. So the first one is gonna be right here. Um so I trained in three other. One, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, and two others. So we got that done. Okay, govern in two coin control space. So that's coin controlled, and that is coin control. Um, so first we're support, which is right here and no coalition base. Nope. Transfer patronage. So this will take two and transfer to patronage. Let me double check on making sure I did that once. Right. Transfer population value from aid to patronage. So aid goes down to and patronage goes up to. Okay. So that also means this goes up to 29. 
which is not good. Okay. So that's the first one. And then this one right here I can also do. This is three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And one, two, three. I do not like the I do not like that. They're getting too close to the coin and patronage. Don't like that. That's getting scary. Okay. Although I got to get up here, so we'll see how that works out. Okay, so that's done with this one. So now we have a limited op. And let me take a look here at Special Forces. Coalition adjacent to Pakistan, to Pashtun, Pakistan. So that would be these right here. Yeah, these two. Which I do have some coalition next to it. Yes. Shift Islamabad two boxes towards sponsorship. And I think that they want, that's what they want to do. Um, if the Taliban or the player choose, oh, capabilities in Islamabad, if the Taliban and the player, nope. I just I don't see that one being effective. It doesn't help because you're supposed to use the shaded text, less ineffective or otherwise instructive. It's not effective for them at all. It's not helping them gain resources or anything like that. Matter of fact, they lost a whole bunch of resources and they wouldn't want to do that. So they will just do a limited op. Oh, come on. So yeah, they're going to do a limited op here. And that limited op is going to end up being, um, I believe it's rallying. Six plus warlord pieces available. Yes, there are. Um, place bases where able, which they can. So they'll take these two and place a base here. That's their one. And then they'll go down one. Okay, that's it. Because it's a limited op. No special activity. Okay, we're going to reset. And uh, this one will probably be our last card for this video. Because I'm running it about an hour. And the next one after this is Pakistan Politics. So we kind of got back to back to this again. I get So I do get Taliban March cost one extra resource per space, including line of communications. It's going to be hard not to take that one. Nobody's in the winning, so yeah, I'm going to take that one. So I'm going to take the event on this one. Okay. So this is card number five. So let's... I got it up here. So lightweight cameras and radars could be carried aloft in tethered uh, balloons to carry out constant surveillance of roads, passes, defiles, and unobservers of ground near coalition base or fighting positions. Um, so, Eye in the Sky, Taliban call. Yep, so we are going to do that for sure. Let's see here. Aerostat, right? Yep, Aerostats. So the Taliban, when they march, it'll cost them an extra. It's hard to pass up uh, capabilities. It really is. So now, Taliban will try to do some stuff on this one. So we're going to need to put this one so I remember where it's at. So because that's the next card. And I won't reveal. I won't reveal that card. We'll do that when we do our next video. Okay. Uh, so Taliban. 
are there 15 plus pieces? So we have six, seven, eight, 16. So yes, there are 15 plus available. So we're going to rally. So uh, gorillas underground in three spaces were all active. Nope. Oh, wait. Three spaces were, and this will be in three spaces, were all active Taliban and a Taliban base and a cube then. Okay. No, that's not a problem. That's not a problem. We're all active Taliban gorillas. Nope, not all. Nope. So we're good there. Okay, then place base where there are at least three Taliban and room. I don't think there isn't like room. For them to get another base out right now. Okay. Then uh, to add control to one space, we don't really have to do that. Oh, yes, we could, but it will only. Yep. Yeah. So no, nothing to add control. <sighs> if no underground ca the Taliban in Kabul place, gorilla. Nope. Kabul has two underground gorillas plus a base. Then place gorillas to add control with one or two Taliban gorillas and then at all Taliban bases. Okay. So at all Taliban bases. So when we do Taliban bases, it will be, if I remember right, population plus the base plus population. If base instead place gorillas up to population plus base. So this will definitely do a lot. So there'll be two there. This is going to be three here. Two here. One here. One, two, three, four, five. So, yep. So far, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then I still have two left, so I'm guessing we put those two in and cobble. So that'll be another uh, spot right there. Okay, that's all. The, that's all the places I can put them. Okay. So then we are going to extort, which there are quite a few places we can do that with. So uh, one, two, two. Um, you know, I'm going to look. I'm hoping. Let me pause this. I want to read this extort a little bit better. I've given him too much. So let's see here. The only one that I actually would have gotten two. None of these would have gotten two. So we've done it, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. So it's only supposed to be one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I gave them too much. Seven. And then these should go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I was giving them two. So that was too much. <laughs> two is only, it's only two if there's a, a base there. So actually this one, would have would have mattered. One, two. Okay. This one, it would be only one. That one. We have one, one. And then one, one. Not more. Definitely more. So this one would be two. One, two, two. And then this one will be one. One. Okay, there we go. Okay, and that's it. So the government and the warlords will be next on the next card. And so, oh, yeah, got the next card right here. So this will be the next card. So hope you enjoyed that. I know I may have made a few mistakes. If I did, please let me know. Um, if there's something I can correct, I will. Um, uh, so I hope I didn't do anything too horrible and we'll see how it goes. Uh, this patronage is 
you know, it's nuts. The aid is like hardly anything. And so we're all set there. So, okay. Hope everybody have a great time and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.